for bacon butty. This shopper was left rather underwhelmed by his. What happened was, uh, this guy, he went and bought a packet of bacon from Tesco. Now, supposedly, it had seven rashers, so he thought, that's weird, seven's a bit of an odd number, but hey, that's four for me and three for the wife. Um, <laughs> after all, he deserves it. That was his thought process. Then he opened the pack to find six <gasps> rashers. <gasps> he was oh, devastated. Gosh. Apparently, he was mortified. So <laughs> what he did was he wrote, uh, he wrote a, a kind of jokey complaint letter. He put it on Facebook. Anyway, this was Tesco's reply. Well, it sounds like you've gone through a whirlwind of emotions for a Sunday morning. As a fellow Bacon fan, I can fully understand your shock, disappointment and unadulterated anger. That so was very tongue-in-cheek <laughs> response from Tesco's. But where's the free bacon, Janet? Well, exactly. <laughs> exactly. There are some supermarket chains that if you take something back, you get not just what wasn't, you know, to your liking, but you get another pack as well. Yeah. Um, and recently, I bought some fruit in a local fruit and veg shop. And when I got home, the blueberries were completely mouldy. And then it was a Sunday next day, and I couldn't go back. So I took them back on a Monday. No, and the woman, I mean, it involved getting in the car and petrol and stuff. And I took them back. And the woman went, oh, sorry about that, and just gave me one new pack. Now, right. well, call me a curmudgeon. You should get an extra pack for bothering for the petrol. Did you just say, bag? call me a curmudgeon? Go on a day. <laughs> that one, Mr. <laughs> Burger Queen. Oh, do you know what's so interesting is that you would be bothered to do that because a lot of people, we've all done it, you get home and whether it's six oh, rashes instead man. of seven, Only can what? you be bothered? What about the fast food drive throughs What, oh. when you don't get what you've ordered? So you go through the whole process of talking to the machine mm. and it's all meant to be fast food, it's all a good idea. Mm. And then as I'm ordering, I'm thinking they're not going to get this. And then you get all the way home and they've forgotten you, I don't know, your corn on the cob. <laughs> Or, you know, um, a portion of chips or whatever. Yeah, and it's yeah. so annoying because you think, well, by the time I go back, everything yeah, else is going to be cold exactly. by the time I get home again. Do you that check really before you leave now? I do now. And I hold up all the traffic, so therefore it's not a fast food drive through <laughs> <laughs> seen like a lot of these kind of um, humorous responses on Twitter and stuff by companies and I, yeah. I kind of I quite kind of like it you know they do acknowledge it and they do refund people but they yeah. also show that they have a sense of humor I kind of like it well, well they've got yeah. a sense of humor because they need your business well, yeah. I mean they're desperate for you to go back because all the major supermarkets are embarked in a, they're in, a, in the middle of a huge price war and yeah. it's re they're really being hit by the discount shops yeah so of course they're gonna grovel when you take some I think as well but showing a little humor inside rather than we yeah. apologize for the fact that you yeah. found six rashes of bacon <laughs> instead of seven um Why, is that they all talk yes, yes. yes. It's a it's a I, saw I saw a documentary on it <laughs> <laughs> well you it's selling seven uh, six slices instead of seven is technically breaking it the is law. it's against their their trade descriptions or exactly. something <laughs> <laughs> okay now uh, 